Hey kids, this is Mr. Leho, and I wanted to talk to you about something that happens every once in a while on the racetrack. Uh, you might see all eight teams all lined up on the starting line. They're ready to go. The judge says, on your mark, get set, go. Seven of the cars start down the track the way that they're supposed to, and you may see a car that actually goes backwards into the student who was starting it. The student will look kind of confused and not understand what's going on. Well, to answer the question of why that occurred, let's see what happens with um, our, 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 uh, our battery power or the power that we come up from, from the solar panel. On this battery pack, I'm over here on the negative side, and what I see is that the electricity is gonna go from negative to positive, from positive to negative, from negative back to positive, then it's gonna come out the positive lead, go down to the motor, and it's gonna turn the motor a certain way, dependent on which way we have it configured. So, since it's coming through in through here, when I have the motor ready to go, I put this little piece of tape here, uh, just so we have like a little flag and we can kind of watch what's going on. So, when I turn on the battery pack, you can see that it is going forward. So what would happen if I switched these wires around and uh, tried to run it with the wires backwards? If you want, you can stop the video at this point and you can have a little discussion in your groups talking about what you think might happen. And not only that, defend your answer. Why do you think that's going to happen? And you can come back and we'll discuss it later. And so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to disconnect this wire and I'm gonna switch them around so that I have my negative lead. It's gonna go over here to the positive lead on the battery, I mean on the motor. And we'll connect that up real quick. Hopefully we get a good tight connection here. And then I'm going to take the other lead and I'm going to connect it up to the opposite side. And again, we're going to twist those together. Nice and tight. And now I have these flipped around. Oops, one came disconnected. That always happens. So we'll just connect it right back up. One more time. nice and tight and it should go this time so now I have the wires turned around and so let's see what happens with our wheel as you can see it is going the opposite direction it's going backwards now this is what we call reverse polarity meaning that the the uh, electricity has taken a different route it's actually going backwards and it's causing that motor to spin the opposite way and that's not what we want so we want to go ahead and again make the switch and make sure that we have them on the proper leads this is so important and once we get them on the proper leads we're going to double check it so i just flipped them back around and I'll flip this one back around. And hopefully that should do it. This one looks a little bit, doesn't want to cooperate with us. We're gonna try that right there and we'll try it and see what happens. And now it's going the correct way, it's going forward. So we can see we have it set up correctly. So that's called reverse polarity. And reverse polarity means we just made the electricity go in the opposite direction. This is why it is so important when you get, first get to the track and you're setting up, you always, always, always want to double check um, which direction the wheel is turning once you install this, either the solar panel or the batteries. And once you have that set and you know that's making the wheels go forward, don't touch it, leave it alone, and that way you know every time you go down, those wires are connected up properly. If you have to switch, let's say the first half of the races, they're racing on solar panels, all of a sudden we have cloud cover come in and the judges announce that we're going to run on battery packs. Well, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and switch out, and then you want to take your car and double check it 
to make sure the wheels are going forward and then leave your connections alone at that time. If you do that, you're gonna have a very, very successful run. So that was a very short lesson on uh, reverse polarity and how to correct it.